This 2023 ASCO Annual Meeting Plenary Video Interview is supported in part by Folsom Pharma USA. It is an honor to be at ASCO to be part of the community that has radically advanced care for the patients who inspire us daily. Folsom is a patient-centered, global, innovative pharmaceutical company. We're committed to delivering world-class science to advance the care of cancer patients around the world. Adura is a randomized phase three trial that looked at asimertinib, a third generation EGFR inhibitor, as adjuvant therapy in completely resected lung cancer stages 1b to 3a. You know, the, the idea that we've been able to take a targeted therapy and now move it to the earliest stages of lung cancer and have results like this is really just phenomenal. What were the results? Well, uh, I presented the survival data. We knew from ASCO three years ago that there was a very compelling disease-free survival uh, result um, with this type of therapy. In fact, the hazard ratio back then was 0.17, or an 83% improvement in disease-free survival. But you know, there was uptake in much of the world. The drug's been approved in the, the U.S. for this indication since 2020. Uh, However, many people were saying, what about survival? That's the ultimate endpoint. Well, uh, it did not disappoint. I showed that in patients with stage uh, 1b to 3a disease, uh, the survival improved with a hazard ratio of 0.49 or, 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 or a 51% improvement. And we saw the same in patients with stage 2 and 3A disease. That was actually the primary endpoint uh, subdivided out. So really um, uh, uh, amazing data for, for survival, really showing the concept that when you take a targeted therapy and you use it earlier, very much like was, was seen when Herceptin was brought to early disease, gosh, almost 20 years ago, we're seeing this now with an oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor in lung cancer, and people are uh, improving their survival in this worldwide study. So on behalf of the entire team, we were thrilled to present these data at ASCO in the plenary session this year. Well, to my fellow oncologists, my own group here at Yale, um, you know, the patients I see myself, this now needs to be part of the equation. When you see a patient with early lung cancer, you must get profiling. You need to know if they have an EGFR mutation when you're going to the tumor board to discuss next steps. If someone has an EGFR mutation and they fit the, the bill of stage one to three disease, uh, those patients should uh, be considered for the adjuvant therapy, first with uh, standard of care chemotherapy, if appropriate, as we did in the trial, but then with osimertinib. So, so right now, you know, this is discussed at tumor boards. Hopefully after these data, it will be more discussed. This is an incredibly uh, important area because now we also have immunotherapy in this space as well, both in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant setting. And actually now, uh, you know, we, we, we include this as we, as we review the patient's genetic profile, tumor profile, and decide what's the best therapy for any given patient. We're personalizing therapy for early disease. But by personalizing it and using our best therapy at the earliest possible times, I believe we're curing patients. And that's been the goal, my goal for over 25 years since I started as a fellow working in lung cancer. We can cure lung cancer by taking the best of the multimodality therapy and blending it with chemotherapy and now targeted therapy. Well, I would, I would think this is just the first step. You know, now there are studies ongoing um, to look at um, earlier disease, uh, stage 1A, the very smallest of tumors. You know, many ask, do you even need the chemotherapy? Uh, this trial was not designed to ask that question. It will require larger numbers and a, and a prospective randomized study. But I can imagine we can do trials to ask that question. In fact, I'd love to see some pragmatic trials designed, very simple trials, just to ask, can we use this in earlier disease? And then, of course, there's the question, what about patients who are getting chemo radiation for lung cancer, unresectable patients, but they have the EGFR mutation. We know that immunotherapy helps many patients that don't have the EGFR mutation, but perhaps we could add uh, EGFR inhibitor, such as asimertinib in that setting, there's a trial known as LORA. But then, of course, the big question is, we must use more biology to dictate our therapy. We treated for three years in Adora. 
Is that long enough? We do see that in the disease-free survival data that you know the, the, the spread to some areas such as the brain does start to pick up once the patients stop the drug. What that tells me is some patients might need longer. What I also know is some patients might need less therapy. We, can, we, we have science that can help us with that. We can start to look at uh, cell-free DNA in the blood, and we can understand when do patients become resistant, when do patients clear their, their tumor. We're doing all that. Um, um, we didn't have those data to present at ASCO this year, perhaps next year. Um, we're very uh, uh, very much in, interested in these data, and we're looking at the samples. We collected blood on all these samples. We have the tumor, so we can do a tumor-informed uh, analysis of DNA in the blood. So stay tuned for that because we can take this personalization even one step further. And, and, and again, again, to help patients live longer with better quality of life. Um, but th that's, uh, those are all things that I see for the future. And then of course, what about other targeted therapies? We now have eight or nine or uh, even more uh, you know, targets in lung cancer where we have oral agents. This concept could work for some of those as well. And we, we have to start thinking about that so that at any given time, we do what's best for any given patient based on their uh, tumor's profile.